All right, I want to start by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Makak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that taught me the doctrine, truth, and sincerity. Shalom to the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. Ba'ashim in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer. He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. <clears throat> Ba'ashim in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit. That's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went on following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such and commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, you have a shy Hamashiach being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father. He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect, the ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the Holy Scriptures and would be able to understand that we're in perilous times and that in those perilous times we would seek Yahweh Shemel Shai and Lord willing we are of the elect that we're able to endure to the end. Okay, because things are about to get ugly. A great famine, a great pestilence, a great evils. Esau, Edom coming down with great wrath because he knew that he had but a short time. Okay, false prophets, but you also have the true men of the Lord that are out there prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great and standing with great boldness. Okay, and that's because the Lord has sent forth his wisdom from up above. Okay, so I was watching the apostles' uh, video uh, yesterday, their street teaching. And there was a scripture they brought out, which was, I believe it was 2nd Ezra um, 12 and uh, 36, where it speaks about the, the secret place, okay? And in that secret place, it had brought me to, um, you know, this scripture right here. Let me let me go get back to that. Let's read that. The 2nd Ezra, because only the wise are going to be able to see, okay, the judgment that's coming down, as far as the whole fulfillment, okay? Not just eating some of the role. OK, but eating the whole roll. OK, because um, to be able to be one of the elect, you have to eat. You have to be able to accept um, the things that the Lord is bringing, because the Lord would open your mind to be able to accept uh, the sweet as well as the bitter uh, part of the scriptures. OK, so second and also what the breakdowns and not and not to be a mocker and scoffer. Right. So this is a scripture they brought out. Second Ezra 12 and 38 and teach them to what it says, teach them to to the wise of the people. Yeah. And teach. OK, so you have to have teachers. OK, Jeremiah 315. I will give you pastors of, of my own heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. OK, and the word wise, wise being able to see because not everybody's able to see or able to hear. Now, this is a, a public, um, you know, a public, um, you know, condemning. You know, far as um, Babylon the Great, okay, but it's actually a secret because all the people walking by and all the people that done through the different videos, okay, not everybody's going to be able to um, hear the message and also what uh, receive the message and have the understanding of it. So it says, and teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts, yeah, so whose minds thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Yeah, keep these secrets far as what cleaving unto them. Holding on to what the um, the secrets of Yahab Bashim al Shai and not letting them go. Okay? That's and that goes into what examining ourselves if we be in the faith. Constantly examine ourselves and and um you know checking ourselves because the Lord's only looking for the meek and the lowly. He's not looking for the proud and the boastful. Okay? So let me read this one more time. It says and teach them to the wise of the people. Yeah, so it's only for the wise of the people, the people that understand. The two thirds are not gonna get it. OK, far as the ones that are not going to make it that are Israelites, they're they're, they're just not going to get it if they haven't um, if they're not able to receive this message right now. OK, because we're at the last point, right, where the Lord's closing up the doors of grace and the Lord spoke about make no tearing to turn to the Lord. OK, 38 and teach them to be wise. Yeah, teach them in discipline and instruction. OK, to what fear the Lord. OK, to not be uh, coming proud and boastful. OK, to not walk in the ways of, of, of this world, but walk in the ways of what that straight path. OK, and teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. OK, so again, 
holding on to what's the truth. And that led me to um, this scripture right here. <laughs> Sirach 15 and 1. He that feareth the Lord will do good. Yeah, do good things. Do things that are what? Pleasing unto Yahweh Hashem HaRashai. Okay, also what? In fearing the Lord. Okay, in fearing the Lord, you're not just going to come with your own um, your own doctrine. Okay, or or try to, um, the teachers that were already there, now you're trying to uh, change the doctrine. Okay, this is Proverbs. Let me get a couple of scriptures. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, they despise the discipline. They despise that um, that you can't have, you know, long hair. They despise that. Okay, because why? Because they ultimately um, despise the Lord. Okay. Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and good understanding have all they that do his commandment, his praise endure forever. Yeah, his praise endure forever. Okay. Let me read this in the NLT. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments, all who obey. Not the ones that try to change up the doctrine or be hucksters for the truth or um, be be involved in superfluitiness, you know, far as, you know, the extras, you know, trying to be extra for no reason when you don't need to because the doctrine doesn't need that. The doctrine itself is, is, a, is a shining light of what truth. And the shining light of, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh giving the breath to what Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai being able to open those seals and, and, and for the elect to be able to receive the message. So in that self, it is perfect. It is clean. It is pure. OK, so so to have anything uh, defiled in it would be um, would not be holy. OK, like Most High Christ bless and these different false doctrines that you hear. That's not wisdom. OK, that's wisdom of this world. That's wisdom of what the left hand side. OK, and the elect, the hopeful elect would be able to see that and be able to uh, um, score pay on that and mark that mark those that cause division. That's why you have the uh, the shepherds that are what are putting out these videos. It's not a, a, um, a personal attack on any any one any person. OK, it's about defending the gospel and warning the sheep. OK, and giving and tending to the sheep. Right. Uh, what did uh, you have say to Peter? If you love me, feed my sheep. OK, and in feeding the sheep is also taking care of them. OK, so if you leave for a year, two years, three years, 10 years, 15 years, and then you try to come back, what happens? The sheep will be dead on your watch. OK, but that's why the Lord has set forth what solid men, OK, that are going to endure to the end. I don't want were of that number. OK, fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. Yeah, because it reminds you of the scripture, because not everybody. There's going to be, uh, the apostles always say this, there's going to be more false prophets than there are true prophets. Okay. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. For we are not as many. So there's many people in the world that corrupt what um, the Bible. Okay. As far as uh, their teachings. Okay. Um, but they can't do nothing against the truth or for the truth. The Lord is what uh, the deceive and the deceiver are the Lord's. Okay. So for as... It says, for we are not as many. So we, so we going into what the hopeful elect, you you know, you when it speaks about brethren, okay, that's your brothers and sisters that are actually in the truth with you. For we are not as many, but who are the teachers? The men, okay, for so because the, the Lord's flock are men. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of the Most High, but as sincerity, but as our power in the sight of the Most High. It says, speak we in the Messiah. So we speak of the Messiah. That's where we get, um, you know, the authority to be able to judge. Okay, we're judging based on what the Holy Scriptures. Okay, not based on our own lust or our own fulfillment of trying to chase that back. But you have people that are doing that. Okay, but the, the elect, they're going to be able to uh, spiritually discern and be able to follow the, uh, the true men of the Lord. Okay, read this in the NLT. You see, we are not like many hucksters who preach for personal profit. We preach the word of the Messiah with sincerity and with the Messiah's authority, knowing that our power is watching us. Yeah, our power is watching everything that we do, beholding the good and the evil. So those that think they're getting away with 501c3 contracts are getting away with, you know, um, these different varieties of, of, of worldly um, content. Okay, the Lord sees all that. Okay, unless you repent, you're going to get caught up in your activities.
Proverbs 15 and 3, the eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding evil and good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach of spirit. So a wholesome tongue. Okay, gentle words. What gentle to who? Yahabah Shemar Shai, not to the world. Okay, because this is not for the world. Okay, the, the scriptures are actually for what th those that have the, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding um, to be able to understand them. Okay, so uh, let me get this word wholesome. Because you have people that are not speaking wholesome words towards the Lord. Okay, they're saying not to worship the only begotten son, Yahabah Shai. Okay, um, they're changing up their doctrines. Um, you know, and it speaks about meadow, meadow, not meadow, not with those that are subject to change. And also a double minded man is unstable in all his ways, roughly paraphrasing those scriptures. OK, and so that's how, you know, that's a person that's um, uh, they're trying, they're reaching. OK, when this is of a quick understanding, OK, to be able to get you don't need to change a bunch of different doctrines. OK, it's, it's straightforward. Right. So um, wholesome. Strong's 8, 4832. Merpe. Merpe. Okay. Second entry. Merpe. Merpe. Yeah. Health, healing, cure. Okay. Health, profit, sound of mind. Yeah. So sound of mind. Okay. You're a sound with the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and with the whole doctrine. Okay. Not just part of the doctrine. I got some of it. I don't want to tell the whole, um, you know, community, uh, because, you know, they, they won't be able to take it. You don't want people around you that, that, that can't receive the message. There's not even a point to be around somebody that can't receive the message far as you're teaching. Okay. It speaks about after the second, third ammunition will reject. Okay. Cause it's not about, um, sitting around and, and, you know, trying to convince somebody, you're not going to convince somebody that the Lord doesn't want. Okay, health, profit, sound mind. That's why it speaks about if they be unjust, I believe that's Revelation 22 and 10. If they be unjust, let them be unjust. Okay. But if they're being, you know, far as in a right state of mind, then they're going to be okay. Right. And that goes into what the wholesome words that are able to what give you health. Okay? And that goes into what the Lord also what being that, um, being that friend. Okay, being that friend to be able to um, help us in the time of trouble. And a friend goes into kinsmen and it goes into what you're uh, a person that you you would know. Okay, very intimately. Right. And curable. Yeah, so um, wholesome healing remedy. Okay, deliverance. Yeah, and we need deliverance. How do we have deliverance? Through our Lord, you have a shot. That's the only way you can be able to be saved. There's no other way you can go through. You can't get a 501c3 contract and now, you, now you're now you one of the left. That's not how it works. You can't get, now I rode in on a horse last year, now I'm one of the left. No, that's not how it goes. Oh, okay, I got the most garments. Everybody got the same purple garments. And now we're now we're, we're all the left. Everybody that has these purple garments is of the left. That's not how it works. Okay, we have to endure harness like a good soldier. And also we would be hated for that name's sake. Okay, we would be the, you know, far as the bottom of the barrel but, but the, really, we would be the, the, the highest. And when I'm speaking about those that have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, okay, uh, this is a gift from Yahab Hashem HaShai. It's not about um, boasting. I'm just I'm making a point that, it, that it's, a, uh, it's about the Lord, okay? And those that are not coming with those wholesome words and health, healthy words, what they are um, Strong receiving H, themselves. Strong Rafa, Rafa. Yeah. So a healer, physician of men, okay? And who is our physician? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. He is the physician. He's coming to what? Heal those that um that the Lord that the Heavenly Father Yahweh has sent to heal. Okay. Okay, so we get the point. Yeah, wholesome, that word mopar. It reminds me of a, a scripture. Let me get this. Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, okay, because the crown of wisdom is with the understanding that we have right now, okay, um, making peace and perfect health to flourish, yeah, making peace and perfect health to flourish, yeah, making you peace with what the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through what Yahweh Shai being the intercessor, okay, because you're able to speak wholesome words, you're able to speak uh, peace to what Yahweh Shai, the one that's bringing forth the destruction, 
okay? And perfect health to flourish. You have perfect health. Perfect goes into complete being whole, okay? We're not whole with most high Christ blessed. We're not whole with teaching a hell doctrine, okay? Um, both which are gifts of the most, yeah, both which are gifts of the most high. That's right, because it's all about Yahabah Shema Shai uh, giving you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be able to receive the message, okay? You can't go buy it at Walmart. You can't go buy it at Target. It's a gift from up above, John 3 and 27, okay? It says, and he enlarged their rejoicing that love him. He, re he enlarged their rejoicing that love him. So he enlarges what? The, uh, the resources that they have. So when there's no food, there's no water, there's no shelter, okay, the servants of Yahab Basham Asha are going to have food, water, and shelter, okay? They're going to be able to have um, all the things that you need in the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? And the Lord's what uh, given us uh, restoring back our, 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 our remembrance of who we are right now. So to be able to rejoice in the Lord when, when destruction comes down, we're actually rejoicing, Okay? It says 19, wisdom rain down, skill. Yeah, skill. Okay. Because again, you know, you, for instance, you have uh, basketball players, right? You have your everyday basketball player that goes to the neighborhood park, but then you have a, another level of, of basketball players. They might go to 24 hour fitness. Then you got another level where they might be in junior college. Then you got another level of, of you know, your college, you know, North Carolina, SCSU, these different colleges. Okay, Division One colleges, and then you got the NBA. Okay, and then out of the NBA, you got the elites of the NBA. Okay, and this would be what your 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 hopeful elect. And I'm saying it in a cardinal way, but just so you can be able to understand, there's different levels to to what Yahweh Shimon Shai has, and his his men, starting with the head apostle, that great millstone, and the men that follow that sound doctrine. Okay, they are are, are above the, those others that are teaching false doctrine. Because really they're at a low vibration. Okay, when the Lord, and again, and I can get the scripture for this. This is a, it's a very high um, skill. And, and again, it's not something that you're given. Just like those basketball players, they were given a skill. Okay, from up above. It wasn't because they, they you know, they wore the, the best shoes, the, you know, the nicest jersey. It was because of what the Lord already restored in them. Okay, Jeremiah 1 and 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Yeah, set thee over, okay, in, in wisdom, right? The nations and over the kingdoms to root out, okay, to root out from the ground, okay? It says, and to pull down. Who are we pulling down? Esau, Eden, the so-called white man, pulling down his strongholds, ultimately for him to be destroyed. And right now he's destroying himself because he's speaking against the Lord. And ultimately, our Lord Yahweh Malachi 1 and 4, the Lord's going to what? Throw down with that great sword, Matthew 10 and 34. And to throw down and to build, okay? What's being built up? The um, the tabernacle of David, okay? We're being restored back to health through the what? The edification, the edificari, being built up in the spirit, okay? And that word edification means to draw out. The Lord's what? Drawing out the information or the, the intelligence that was already in us, Okay? And what that that's building up the tabernacle of David, okay, right in the sight of, of our enemy, Psalms 23. And the Lord has planted a seed of what that mustard seed of truth, okay, that now um, through those those seeds of faith and truth, brothers are able to be under the shelter of the of the of that great mustard tree, you know, of that mustard tree, okay, as far as that parable. Because a mustard seed is very small, but when it grows out, it's able to have other animals what lodging in that tree, which a tree is uh, symbolic to what um, the people, okay, the men what laboring, and then other men have entered into those labors or have followed those um, followed those ways in the ministry, okay, and then what, and that's ultimately to what um, to uproot this devil, okay. <laughs> That's why he's coming with, you know, uh, saying that we're extremists, that we're radicalists, you know, misinformation, things like this. OK, that's why, because it's exposing this devil because we're testifying of the works thereof are evil. OK, and the Lord, what touches our mouth to be able to speak. Right. Nineteen wisdom rain down skill and knowledge of understanding and exalt them to honor that hold her fast, that hold her fast and exalt. OK, you notice how that was in the other scripture, too, or, or to build up. So, so the Lord is exalting what his men to be able to have this wisdom. So when someone comes up to inquire, we're not looking like fools because the Lord has the spirit with us. 
okay, because we're holding fast, holding firm, okay, giving diligence to make that call and election sure, right, no breaks. 20, the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. Yeah, the branches thereof. When you go to John 15, it speaks about the vine. I am the vine that the Father sent, okay, um, and that vine is what Yahweh Shai, and we are those branches, and you can't do nothing without that um, that vine, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, there uh, it says the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord. The branches thereof are long life. The fear of the Lord drive away sins, and that's what we're trying to be a purge of our sins. The fear of the Lord drive away sins, and where it is present, it turned away wrath. Yeah, where it is present, it turns away wrath, because the Lord's coming to send a great judgment. Okay. And just look on the news. It's everywhere. The food, the uh, wars, rumors of wars, class wars, civil wars, earthquakes, okay, uh, uh, sedition amongst people, okay, it, it's here, okay? And that's the Lord willing we endure to the end. We keep pushing, right? So this is Sirach 15 and 1. It says, he that feared the Lord will do good, and he that had knowledge of the law shall attain her. Yeah, so the law is what the um, rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, as far as the um, the law being that standard that we're supposed to that we're supposed to follow, but we know we're subject to sin. So, but there is a um, but we're supposed to be perfect in the doctrine. Be ye therefore perfect, as my Father in heaven is perfect. Also, in Revelation fourteen, it speaks about the the elect had no gal in their mouth; they weren't enamored by the strange woman. That goes into following that uh, that banner or following the um, you know the the standard. Okay, which is the the law. That's our um. You know, that's where that's our mark where we're, you know, supposed to follow to the best of our ability. But again, we're subject to sin. You offended one and you offended them all. OK, so Sirach 15 and one, he that feared the Lord would do good. And, and the reason why I say that, because you have groups out there that are law, the law, the law. But the reason why they push that is because they're worldly. They want to be able to control instead of actually to be able to give out, um, you know, um, you know, you know, uh, education or, or knowledge on the actual situation and what and what what time we're in and that we're in captivity okay so and that's why we have you have a shot he is our atonement for our sins okay so rock 15 and 1 he that feared the lord would do good and he that had knowledge of the law shall attain her and as a mother she shall meet him and receive him as a wife married of a virgin okay with bread yeah, so mother going into what uh, wisdom mother is what the wisdom of this um mother is the Slock your barrel me. I want to get that scripture. I know it's in the apographer. Yeah, this is one. This is um Bear with me, slack you. It's actually in um, 2nd Ezra 13 and 55. 2nd Ezra 13 and 55. Thy life has thou ordered in wisdom and has called understanding thy mother. Okay, because what does a mother do? A mother will, will nourish you. Okay, um, she will nourish you, you know, give you health, give you milk. Okay, and that's the sincere milk, the truth that the Lord has given us. That's sincere milk. Okay, and as we grow and grow teeth, um, we're able to what. Uh, um, uh, desire the you know the more um you know the scriptures that are more deep okay but right now we're being nourished okay by what this wisdom and as a mother she she meet him yeah so meet who the the very um the hopeful elect and receive him as a wife married of a virgin okay yeah and so through that wisdom we're able to be purified okay through what uh yahweh shai or through socket purified through the word and what covered by the blood of the uh, the blood of what Yahweh shot, making us what that 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 clean virgin. Okay, it says, with the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. Yes, yeah, so the water is referred to um, as the truth. Okay, he that believeth in me shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, the wisdom to drink. Yeah, to buy of it. Okay, you buy of of this water because you're thirsting of of what the truth. Okay, Isaiah fifty five speaks about that. He shall. It says, he shall be stayed upon her. Okay, and her is referred to um, as wisdom. 
okay? Because when you know what wisdom will do, you'll do anything for it, just like you, just like a woman in the world, okay? You'll find a woman, you'll change your haircut, you change your job, you stop hanging out with certain people, whatever it may be. And when you understand what wisdom can be able to do for you as far as be able to save you, that's why it's referred to as she or her or the mother, okay? And it says, he stayed, it says, and he shall, he shall be stayed upon her and shall not be moved. Yes, yeah, stayed upon her, what, uh, steadfast, and shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. Yes, yeah, shall not be condemned, okay? Um, when you go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 32, it speaks about, uh, uh, speaks about the very elect um, being chastised so we're not condemned with the world, okay? And that's also another scripture, um, <laughs> This is Isaiah 45. Yep, Isaiah 45 and 17. And I'll start from 16. It says, They shall be ashamed, also confounded, all of them that shall be confusion together that are makers of idols. So they're going to be in confusion. Those that are chasing that bag, those that are, you know, um, you know, chasing that 501c3 contract, trying to be someone in this world. Okay, they're going to be in confusion. But Israel... Yeah, the Israel, the Israel of what the the house of the elect, right, the household of faith. But the Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with the everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. A world without end. Yeah, world without end, meaning in continuous a uh, time period of an everlasting foundation. Okay, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai and the tabernacle of David being built up as the days of old. Five. She shall exalt him above his neighbors in the exin. Exalt him above his neighbors. What in wisdom. In the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. In the midst of the congregation. So that's what you have. Men opening their mouth, speaking about what? Yahabah Shema Shai. And in that, um, those followers or those believers will come into the fold because they heard the message. They heard the word of Yahweh Shai. He shall find joy in a crown of gladness, and he shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. And that's what we're fighting for, what um, our name to be written in the book of life. Okay, to be able to be um, saved. OK, for so all the works what that you that you've been working for that the Lord has given you. OK, you can be able to be rewarded that you stood stiffly for what that name say. OK, Sirach 16, 11. And, and if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished for mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure as his mercy is great. So is his correction. Also, he judges the man according to his works. The sinner shall not escape with the spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Make a way for every work of mercy, for every man shall find according to his works. So you're going to find according to your works, the things that you're doing. Okay. Uh, skipping down to 18, it says, Behold the heaven and the heaven, and it says, Behold the heaven and the heavens of heavens, the deep and the earth and all therein shall be moved when he shall visit. Who? who? Yahrashai. The mounds also in the foundation of the earth shall be shaken with trembling with the Lord Yahweh Shai shall look upon them. Yeah, look upon who? The very elect. Okay, the ones that are crying and sighing for all the abominations that are done upon the earth. And in that, the Lord's going to what? Save his um, elect. Okay, I'm going to this. This is uh, Joel 3 and 16. The ones that have um, that spiritual tawa. Okay, Joel 3 and to be able to be saved. Joel 3 and 17. Start from 16, Joel 3 and 16. The Lord Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice in Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But Yahweh will be the hope of his people, the hope of who? The very elect, okay? And the strength of the children of Israel, because ultimately all Israel will be saved, okay? But the two thirds got to die a grievous death on this side, okay? And but the elect, are, the one third are going to be able to be beamed up, okay? The strength of the children of Israel. It says, so shall you know that I am Yahweh, your power dwelling in Zion. Zion is the governing body, okay? It says, um, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, David, okay, um, the 144,000, right? My holy mountain, yeah, holy means separate, mountain means government. Then shall Jerusalem, a people for it's a place, Jerusalem be holy, yeah, uh, uh, sanctified, separate, okay? Um, Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her anymore. Yeah, so no more... Um, of Esau, Edom, uh, uh, rising up ever again, going into that everlasting name. This is a uh, wisdom of Solomon, you know, ended in this chapter, wisdom of Solomon five, because we're trying to, uh, be written in that book of life. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon five and 16. 
And I'll start from 15. It says, but the righteous live forevermore. The reward is also with the Lord and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive the glorious kingdom and the beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. Yeah, those that are written in the everlasting book. Therefore shall receive the glorious kingdom and the beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm shall he protect them. So the Lord's going to protect his very elect. Okay, I don't want to that of that number. So with that, Kahola Yahweh Ba Shimya Rashad Ba Shimra Kakwada Shalom to the left, Kwamya Shalom.